Hi, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. And if you've been to my channel before, you know that I prefer to invest in the future. And the future is in big tech plus small companies that are going to probably be purchased by big tech or are going to become big tech themselves. I focus a lot on uh, the biotech industry and I'm now moving also into 3D printing, uh, cybersecurity, and now I want to find the next big thing of where the internet is going in the future. I've often said if you were back in 95, if you could be transported back into 1995, who would you buy? And I think it's pretty obvious. It's, it's the, today's big tech. It's Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, uh, those, and Microsoft. So those are the companies that gave us the internet that we know today. But I think it's about to change and it's about to go in a different direction. Earlier this week I did a, vi a video on Immersions, uh, a company that's in to heptic technology. That's the, that's the uh, technology that's going to bring touch to, uh, to the internet as we know it today. Uh, and then the other, the other area is that I've spoken about on numerous occasions as far back as May of uh, 2020 and that it was on Facebook and Facebook Horizons and how that's going to, through virtual reality and augmented reality, going to change our world. Well, I bought into that world for the tune of about $500 uh, back in December of 2020 and that was when I bought my first Xbox. The only problem is I didn't buy it for myself, I bought it for my grandson. So my knowledge in that area is limited, but I have been basically educated over the last couple weeks, the last couple months, and I've come to know that a Fortnite, uh, a game that is, I believe, owned by uh, Epic Games, uh, has somewhere in the neighborhood of 350 million players. I believe uh, amongst that information I have just given you that we have the window on what the future is going to bring to us and what we need to learn about the metaverse. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, the metaverse another reason for you to own Facebook stock. This is big. This, this is not maybe as big as the change in our healthcare delivery system, but this is right there in second place, the metaverse. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. If you want to be a part of investing in the future, recognizing those things that are going to change the way you live before the rest of the world recognizes it, you need to be a part of this. Best of us investors. We're a tribe of people, I wrote a book about it, uh, that are looking for what the next Amazon is, what the next Google is, what the next Facebook is, or where are those companies going to take us and how can we profit on it. So stick with me. I got to tell you I'm not your financial advisor, but while I'm doing that, go down there and tap that subscription button and ring the bell. That bell will tell you every time I put a forth another informative video and then subscribe to the channel. I'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. So what is the metaverse? And I guess the best way that I can think about it is a place where you will meet, you will shop, you will work, you will go to school, you'll play games, you'll create, um, You'll be wherever you want to go, with whomever you want to go, and that's the metaverse. It is being championed by a few far-reaching, future-viewing companies. 
one of those, and probably the leader in it, is uh, Facebook. I'd ask you to Google the word metaverse. You're going to find that there's 8,670,000 results. Uh, what's going to stand out as you look at it and you page down is the pictures of Mark Zuckerberg and references to Facebook. Facebook is first and foremost in front of this. As I said, I did a video uh, back in May 28th of 2020 when I first talked about Facebook Horizons. And now uh, Facebook has come forward and said that they're going even deeper into this, and I believe this is going to be something that's going to change your world. I believe this is going to make the Internet as you and I know it today an antique. I think it's going to replace it. If you want a view of it, if you want a view of where it's going, familiarize yourself with the gaming world. Here's some, some videos of Fortnite, Epic Games, and the other big player in this is uh, Unity uh, Engines. But Facebook has recognized that they are the social media. This is where you gather to meet with your friends, to exchange with your friends. And what and I believe you're actually going to create an avatar and you and your friends will go shopping, you'll go to work together. Uh, these are two pictures that kind of r resonate with me because I have been involved with, um, with Zoom. And Zoom is, has grown leaps and bounds they say right now there are 300 million daily users of Zoom, and that's a growth rate of 2,900% in one year. Of course, Zoom has become a mainstay to all of us as a result of the coronavirus. But let's take it one step further. Right now when I do Zoom, I sit and I have a little face box and everybody that's in Zoom has a face box. What if we all instead had avatars? And through virtual reality, we could create an auditorium and our our avatars sat in that art auditorium and there was someone who possibly was leading the meeting standing in front of us much like this picture here and when you or I had a question we raised our hand and that avatar up in the front could recognize us and we through our avatar could talk to them. We could, fee we could actually turn and talk to the person on the right of us and talk to the person on the left of us. That's interesting. What if on the other hand, rather than attend a Zoom meeting, we wanted to meet with, in my case, my grandchildren on the ski slopes of Vail. And we had avatars, and we had the effects of the company I talked to you about earlier this week, Immersions, that gives us heptic technology that we could not only see and hear, but feel the surroundings that we're in. And we could become a part of it. This is where the internet is going. This is where we need to invest. Who do we need to invest in? Well, first of all and foremost, we need to own Facebook stock. Is Facebook stock a value right now? Well, you might say it's a little overpriced, but I think you probably would have said that Amazon was overpriced um, when all they were doing was selling you merchandise through their their portal, but you didn't know about Amazon Web Services, which now generates, I believe, about 60% of their profits. This is to Facebook. This is to Facebook as Amazon Web Services 
is to Amazon. This is going to explode Facebook. This is going to make Facebook your number one place to go. Because when you, rather than get on the phone with your cousin in uh, Las Vegas, you will go to Facebook and you and your cousin will sit in the same room and talk. You might sit across the table from them and have a glass of wine. It will be your avatar, but you will be there with them. If you then want to get into the car and go to the mall and shop, you will. If you want to sit on the floor with your children or your grandchildren and play a game with them, you will. This is what the internet is going to. And I told you again about the heptic technology that is going to give you feel. I'm now telling you about the technology that's going to put you in the room with them, even if the room is 10,000 miles away, even if the activity you want to participate in is 2,000 miles away from both of you. You can meet there and you can be a part of it. Is this going to change other parts of the world? Well, certainly it's going to change the way that you shop. You'll go into the store. Your avatar will go into the store, pick out the clothes you want, and you will have a body scan, and you'll buy what you want. You'll see it on you. You'll buy it and it'll be shipped to you. What about school? What about education? What about now? You don't need to... We, we've, we've experienced virtual education and a lot of people didn't like it, but let's go ahead and add the social aspect to it through this technology. So the, the metaverse is going to become a part of your world and you will be able to enter that world from Facebook Horizons, and this will be refined down to, again, heptic technology uh, will uh, literally be able, you will be able to, out to touch some, someone, they will be able to feel your touch, and you will be able to interact with them. There are all kinds of ramifications to this. As I was discussing yesterday with a young lady as I was telling her about this, this is going to change the porno pornography industry phenomenally. So this is where we're going. Uh, I would ask you, what are the elements that have to make this happen? Well, first of all, there has to be a demand. As I just told you, Zoom has grown by 2,900% in the last year, and there are, what did I tell you, 300 million daily users. In the gaming world, there are 3 billion hours a month spent on gaming in the virtual world. So the demand is there. Is the software there? It's, again, it's there by people, the Epic Games and, and Unity Engineering, two private companies uh, who will probably go public within the next six months or possibly be bought out for their software by somebody like Facebook. Then the question is, is the hardware there? The hardware is going to be delivered to you by a couple of people, and they've already made some inroads into that. We know about uh, Facebook's Opulus. We also have seen that Facebook is has teamed with uh, Ray-Ban to give us some new form of glasses that maybe are a little bit more comfortable for us to use than the Opulus goggles. We know that Apple has introduced some glasses, and we know that Amazon, on a invitation basis only, has their own echo frames. So the, the system, the demand is there, the software is there, and the hardware is in the making. How far is this off? I would say by 2024, 
you will be using this technology, the metaverse, more than you will be using the internet as you know it today. So it's coming fast and it has just been sped up as a result of the coronavirus. Why do I say that? The use of Zoom has grown by 2,900% over the last year and that is a direct result of the virus. So where should you be investing? Certainly our world, you have to know, our world is changing faster than you think. I've talked often about this book, uh, The Future is Faster Than You Think. I thought it was interesting. I, I went into the glossary and I looked up the term metaverse. Now recognize this book was written and it, it was published in January of 2020. That means it was written in 2019. There is no reference in this book to the metaverse. And yet, on, the, on Google, the term is used 8,670,000 times. And the most prevalent picture in there is of Mark Zuckerberg. So, I ask you, is this the kind of investment you want to make? Is this the Google? Is this the Amazon? Is this the Facebook? And it is still Facebook of 1995. I think so. And if you want to be a part of it, you need to invest in it. You need to keep up on it. You need to be reading about heptic technology. You need to be reading about the metaverse and you need to own Facebook stock. Okay, that's my take on the exciting world that we have in front of us. The change that you're going to see in the next five to ten years is going to blow your mind. You're going to look back and say, wow, I wish I'd invested in those companies back when they were selling such as um, immersions for $8 a share. Uh, I wish even, I wish I had known that Facebook was so undervalued. Okay, that's what Best of Us Investors is all about. How do I know about things like this? I have a group of people that I call the tribe that come to my Discord and they share their ideas every day with me. They, they email me, uh, we exchange uh, visions on uh, the Discord, and if you want to be a part of it, I'll send you an invitation. It's by invitation only, and you can get that invitation by going to Best of Us Investors, giving me your name and your email address, and I'll send you a link to our Discord. And that way, you'll know about the new internet. And think about that. How much you use the internet now? And by 2024, this part of the internet will be antiquated. I think it's fair to say this kind of video will no longer exist. We will be interacting. You and I will talk to each other as this video is delivered. It's exciting. Why don't you become a part of it? Talk to you again tomorrow.